even, I'm not trying to gas myself up, but you was the one. <laughs> What's love? It's about us. It's about just Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jasmine and we all know why you are here. You're here because you watched the clout music video featuring Cardi B and Offset and you were just as in awe as I was by Cardi B's makeup. Girl, her makeup was bomb, was it not? I was looking at her face when she was in that little ball of lemons and I was like, her makeup looks so, so, so good. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today, how to get Cardi B's makeup look from the Cloud Music video. And um, she actually had two makeup looks in the video. It was just like a small little variation and I'm surprised honestly that I caught it. But in her little lemon, she had a different look than when she was like right an offset like a porn star. Before we get into the video, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing for me, just subscribe down below, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you come back. And also while you're down there, go ahead and hit that bell notification button because I post regularly twice a week and I will be uploading this weekend on my new foundation routine. If you're loving how my face looks right now, because I am, if you guys wanna see how I got my face beat like this, but real, matte and just bomb I just love this method so much like literally while I was doing my makeup I was like I am red as hell this makeup feel make you feel like that so go ahead and hit that bell notification so that when I post this weekend you'll be the first to be able to watch it and be bad all right so let's just get into the video the first look I'm gonna be doing is the one that she had when she was in all the in the all black fit right and offset um so I'm gonna just bring you guys in a little closer so we can get into it so hey guys, now we're up close and personal. You guys can see like all my flaws and everywhere I'm creasing and all my imperfections. So now we have to be best friends and now you have to subscribe. And this person of course just texts me and interrupted my video. Before I start, I wanna say I'm pretty much gonna be using just one palette the entire video. At least that's what I'm thinking. Um, the James Charles palette, like you know the James Charles palette. Like I'm sure you know that it has like a like every single color that you need in it. So I'm gonna be probably only using this palette. So if you have this palette, you're in luck and you can literally do exactly what I do. In Cardi B's crease, she had like a pinky orange color. So I'm just gonna take this color from the James Charles palette to start as like my transition shade. And then I'm gonna go ahead and work in the orange. But we gonna start pink. can see I really like diffuse that color out I just want it really like, really as like a transition shade only because what colors were really speaking was like the yellow and the orange and the white so this is truly honestly just a transition shade and that's all the purpose of this eyeshadow is okay so now that I have that pink transition color all throughout my creases I'm gonna now go in with this bright orange color in the James Trout I'm just gonna stop saying in the James Charles palette. Y'all know what palette I'm using. James Charles palette, I'm just gonna talk about the colors, okay? So I'm going in with that orange color. And I'm, I literally just put that color on top of the pinky color. All right, so next we're gonna need to cut the crease because she had a very like elongated cut crease. I'm gonna go in with my P. Louise um, eyeshadow primer. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that crease, but we just wanna make sure that we really drag it out. And don't be afraid to like go extra long because her eyeliner was like literally out touching her hair, baby hair, like honestly. So I'm kinda gonna like drag it out and drag it up because we're gonna have to do the, um, eyeliner elongated on like the same angle So 
So this is gonna be the shape of the cut crease, kind of like an eyeliner. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera because that really just took a lot of concentration and I feel like I'm about to have a seizure. So give me like a second. <laughs> All right, so I'm back and I'm pretty sure that they're Barely even. I'm gonna take this yellow color. So the yellow is basically going from the middle of the eye all the way out into the tail. Um, and then the white's gonna be in the front, so. Yeah, you might wanna use like a small, like detailed brush to add this color in because you don't wanna um, mess up this. What's it called? What is this called? Primer? Primer? Base? You don't wanna mess up this base. Girl, I can't talk. You don't wanna mess up this base as I mess up the base. Okay, chill, chill on me. Word of advice, make sure your eyeshadow base does not crease because I have like such creasy eyelids. So like before I applied it, it kind of creased and this kind of like just applied in a chunk on my eye. So kind of like blend it out like how I am on this side. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this white on the inner part of that uh, crease. Like y'all have no idea how many screenshots it took to like get what this makeup look like for real. Like I need a full like view like this with her eyes shut and I got one when she was writing an offset, she was closing her eyes and I was like, <laughs> she closed her eyes for like literally 0.5 seconds and I snapped it at the right time. I was like, oh, bet. All right, so now I'm just gonna go back in and like put some yellow down like in the middle and then get a little bit more white on my brush just so that it can kind of like um, blend together and it won't be like such a harsh line going from the white to the yellow. Yeah. There we go. Now it like literally blends. I'll show you on the other eye just because this eye looks a little stupid now because you know what? No, whatever. Y'all gonna see my mistake because I messed up. So yeah, it's it was a little smudgy because of the crease um, issue of the creasing of the primer but like you see how like adding that like this is like a harsh line of yellow to white but like adding back that yellow and like blending it together it kind of blended out all right guys so we are literally almost done um as you can see it's coming along real cute um it didn't really look like she had much going on on the under eye so literally we just have one more step and we're finished as i mentioned earlier she had a humongous humongous touching her baby hair wing going on so um, I'm just taking this uh, roller liner eyeliner by benefit cosmetics it is literally my new favorite um this pink top is how you know what one it is yeah because this ain't really telling you much this black pen like y'all look like that I'm just literally gonna follow what I have already drawn and I'm just gonna draw a really snatched wing like kind of underneath but you want to make sure that this yellow is tail is still showing at the end because she kind of had it like this yellow being dragged out along the top of her um black eyeliner line the whole way through bitch i did it cardi That wing is, that wing is slaying. Oh my gosh. I look like Nicki Minaj with my wing this long. Onika, Barb's, itty bitty pick it to the market. Y'all hoes better watch out cause I'm gonna cut you with my eyeliner. So as you guys can see, um, this is basically the look. I'm just gonna go ahead and be right back. Um, I'm gonna apply some really humongous lashes because Cardi B is known for having those super long flutter away lashes. And um, just some mascara to my lower lash line. So be right back guys. All right guys, I'm back, I'm lashed up, and I'm really feeling like Cardi right now with this look. Like, the, it, I think it like looks really good. Like, not to toot my own horn, but I put my foot in that, okay? 
So for lashes, I used Vanite Cosmetic Lashes. Um, I have like a whole bunch of really cute styles and these ones are like really dramatic and big. Something else I noticed with her makeup was that she had a really like cute contour like going from this part of her eye to her nose. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick so we can like get the full look, you know what I mean? So I'm just taking some of this Iman powder, um, it's in the shade Earth 6 and I'm gonna go in and apply some contour right up in here okay it looks harsh right now but like chill like we're gonna blend it out so we got the base down now I'm gonna go back in and blend it So next, I'm just gonna outline my lips with um, a NYX eyeliner pencil in the color Nutmeg. I literally was probably just looking so cross-eyed because I was trying to look at it. But yeah, I'm using Nutmeg to line my lips. I overdrew my top lip a little bit. And for lips, she kind of just kept it really neutral. Like she really didn't do much. So she had like a brown liner and then just basically just like a pink lip gloss. So I'm going in with my Monet's Cosmetics pink lip gloss in the color Love. That's what it looks like. And it was just like a clear pinky lip gloss. Like this is like literally the perfect shade, so. So this is gonna be the final Cardi B clout music video makeup look. I hope that you guys liked it. Um, I had a really fun time doing this, so if you think I did a good job, comment down below, give me some love, give me some applause, and give me some stuff because I feel like I rocked this. So if you don't agree, you can kick rocks. And if you agree, go ahead and let me know. Gas my head up a little bit, boost it up a little bit so that I can feel like I did that. Don't forget to like, comment, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. Like I said, I will be uploading a new skin foundation routine this weekend. So if you hit that bell notification, you will be getting an instant notification of when I'll be posting that, and you too can look beat. All right, guys, love you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.